If she painted me like one of her French girls, or is that the, is that the, uh -huh. if she did that, oh, honey, let's get it going, you know what I'm saying? If y'all let me down today, I can't be cool with y'all no more. This is a big moment, guys, I'm really excited. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Zach Clayham, but if I like you, I'll let you call me Zachary, and I am 20 years old. Hey, how's it going? My name is Chase Madsen, and I am 26 years old. I'm Kellyanne Sankis, and I am 24 years old, and today we're here to find Zach and Barry. They gonna give me a wifey, y'all, let's go. I'm trusting Kellyanne and Chase to find me my new baby because, I mean, look at them. This is the most beautiful couple I've ever seen. They are thriving, they're doing great, so I'm putting this in y'all's hands today, guys. We got you, don't worry. Got trust you, don't worry. Um, I think, I'm not love experts, but I think we're doing something uh, right yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I am a love expert. <laughs> we're doing something right. All right, y'all so. stop being cute, bro. <laughs> y'all chill out. As a duo, I feel like y'all are yeah, powerful, yeah. so. I've sat with some people before, and then like, Obviously, like, I don't know what happens in that relationship, but like, it worked out. I feel like I've known Zach for a minute now. Oh, so yeah. like, yeah. and I've seen him with his exes. So like, I kind of know his type. I know what he's looking for. She do, so, she do. I think I, I hit the mark there. When it comes to me and finding the perfect bae, I'm not expecting too much, but she could have a perfect smile, pretty fit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I love a good personality. Like, personality is very, very important to me because if I'm gonna be around you all the time and like I'm gonna put you in my life onto that level, I, I need to feel comfortable with you. I need to be able to crack jokes because I am a jokester, if you haven't found out yet. Um, I love a good joke. So, a great personality, a pretty smile. Smiles make me melt, I'm not gonna lie. I love a pretty smile. Um, an adventurous girl, because I'm very adventurous. I like to go on hikes, I like, I just like going out, I like doing stuff, so very adventurous. Someone that has goals and works hard. Hard working is very attractive to me. So if you're not working hard, you gotta go. You don't have to hit the streets, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good style, I love a good style. My style is not the best, but hey. You rocking. You know what I'm saying, we got the, you know what I'm saying, we got the drip, we got the drip. <laughs> You gotta know how to cook. See, I'm a breakfast kind of guy. <laughs> breakfast is my thing. So if you can make a good egg sandwich, oh, I'm putting the ring on it, like, instantly, right there. They gotta show us the personality. They gotta see what we're working with. You know, Zach yeah. is a catch. So we need to find someone who matches his level. We need to find somebody who's just as outgoing as you, because you're just, like, over the top outgoing person. You can't Stop. have someone who's shy. Yeah. They gotta be right there with you. They, they gotta handle the jokes. That's very true. Mm -hmm. I do have one girl that I've always just been like, hello, um, Ariana Grande. I know it's probably like a lot of people's answers. Yeah, but she is very gorgeous. If y'all let me down today, I can't be cool with y'all no more. I'm gonna have to go. Um, maybe in the future I'll come back, but I'm gonna have to leave y'all for a little bit because I'm putting all my trust and faith in y'all. Okay. All right, so let's go find you a bae. All right, let's go, hello. <laughs> this is a big moment, guys. I'm really excited. <laughs> Hi, I'm Giovanna. I'm currently in Florida, Tallahassee. I'm 21 years old, and a fun fact about me is that I've never broken a bone in my body, and I speak three languages. <laughs> uh, Portuguese, Spanish, and uh, English. My name is Kalindra. I'm 20 years old. I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm also from Dallas, Texas. And over quarantine, I taught myself how to longboard. My name is Julia. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm 21 years old. I have my black belt in Taekwondo. Hi, I'm Ananya. I'm 18. I'm living in East Lansing, Michigan. And I used to be a huge Zendaya super fan when I was younger and I met her when I was eight. Hi, my name is Layla. I'm from New York City. Um, I'm 21 and a weird fact is that I'm half Jamaican, but I don't really like oxtails. Riley is my name. I'm 22 years old. I live in Sherman Oaks, California. And fun fact, my great-grandfather was the president of a country. What country? Lithuania. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I'm yeah. Lithuanian. Oh, no way. <laughs> I'm Faith. I'm 19 years old. Um, I live in Nantucket. Um, I write novels and I paint. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm 18 years old. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I'm actually a second degree black belt. I'm Sydney, I'm 22. Um, I currently live in Miami. And a fun fact about myself is the way that I learned how to swim was being thrown into a pool at two years old and pretty much 
told sink or swim. So <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Lily. I'm 18 and I'm from Pompano Beach, Florida. Although my weird fact would probably be that I was actually born in England. And so technically I have dual citizenship in both countries. That's awesome. Cool. Yes, I think yes. I think we got something going here. Yes. The ones that really stood out to me are the ones from Texas because I'm from Texas as well. So when I heard that, I was like, <laughs> um, but then I heard the I heard the black belt and stuff, and I got a little scared because if we ever get in an argument, it might not go down well for me. Um, <laughs> but I definitely heard a couple in there that have some potential for sure. So I'm excited. Well, Zach is very very outgoing. Very, and he's very outgoing. Very very funny if you can't tell. He's <laughs> always makes us laugh all the time. He's such a sweet guy. Um, he's been through a lot and. Um, and he's talented. He's super talented and he's super passionate about what he does. And he's very creative, so. Stop. <laughs> I'd say above all, he has like a really big heart and he like yes. cares about everyone else before himself. Mm -hmm. All right, so our first question is, what are your favorite hobbies? I really like to watch TV shows. Um, I don't know if a hobby is hanging out with friends, but I really like doing that. Um, I tried skating once. I consider that a hobby of mine, but it kind of sucks. So I don't know if that's a hobby, but um, yeah, I would say that's it. My favorite hobbies are dancing. I like to dance, I've been doing that for a while. I like to longboard. I taught myself and I'm actually pretty good. I also like traveling and volunteering. My favorite hobbies are anything that involves being outdoors and any sort of like adrenaline rush. I love adventure sports. If I can strap a GoPro on me, like that's what I want to be doing. And um, I guess my other hobby would be I love photography and filmmaking. Um, I love to sing. I also am like a big like movie geek. So um, yeah, I love movies and I'm super into fashion. So I love putting together outfits all the time. And I don't know if this counts, but I like making TikToks like all the time. No, it counts. You're talking to the right people. <laughs> <laughs> I like to run. I did track and cross country for four years in high school. I like to go shopping, especially I live in New York City. And I like to watch anime. I like to do a lot of sports. I like to ski and surf. Um, I really like going to art museums too. Um, classical literature and backpacking in other countries, um, specifically Europe. I did cheer in high school, so I like to like stay active. Um, I also like to paint and I like to like do like night walks, like exploring the town and stuff. I really enjoy songwriting and singing. It's like one of my biggest passions. Um, I also really like hanging out with my friends. I don't know if you'd consider that a hobby. I really like dancing, cooking, baking, and I also like making TikToks. So I actually really enjoy dancing. I am a dancer, so that's what I typically do. I also do a lot of things on social media, so making videos, um, taking pictures, and I love going to the beach. That's like my favorite thing to do out of all. <laughs> I honestly really consider myself kind of a spontaneous person because I really think that we should be doing the most to get what we can out of life. I mean, we only live once. So I really like doing things like spur of the moment, like going out and just going on picnics or movie dates or watching things like at drive-in movies or running in the rain. Like, I just think that it's really fun just to go with the flow of life and see where that takes me. <laughs> if a girl is in the arts and crafts, see, I'm, I feel like I'm very artistic myself and I'm very intrigued with that kind of stuff. So if that's her hobby, shoot. Yeah, if she painted me like one of her French girls or is that the, is that the, uh -huh. that's the reference? Yeah. yeah, if she did that, oh, honey, let's get it going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I feel really bad. I, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna feel this bad eliminating people, this is hard. Okay, but we're gonna eliminate Layla just because his ex name was Layla and it's just, it was, he went through a bad breakup. Now so. listen, it's not you, it's, not it's me, me. <laughs> and I really mean that. So, so sorry. Technically, my name is Leela, but I tell people my name is Layla, so I'm really mad and say Leela, but all right, bye. Bye, oh, bye. oh. That did not feel good. I was very upset. But I feel like Leela and Layla is still pretty much the same, so I don't know. <laughs> if you had to cook a meal for a date, what would you cook? Anything Italian. I'm obsessed with Italian food. So like um, lasagna, pasta, risotto, something like that. Or maybe sushi. Sushi would be fun too. 
So I would probably cook something Mexican food. I love Mexican food. So it would probably be like street tacos or like some fajita meat, some chicken, barbacoa, or like some shrimp tacos with black beans and rice. I would definitely cook something Asian inspired. That's um, definitely my favorite type of food. And if it was for a date, I would definitely go all out with the plating because I love to have fun with that stuff. The other day I ate these dumplings from Trader Joe's and I made a little peanut sauce on the side and it was so good. So I'd probably make that. Without a doubt, spaghetti and meatballs. It's the cutest date food. I think we can all agree. And I would definitely make cookies for dessert. Okay. I would probably make pizza or like bake mac and cheese because that's like my favorite and maybe something Asian too. I don't know. We'll just have to see how everything works out. I definitely make some type of Puerto Rican food just because I am half Puerto Rican and half Mexican. So one of those two is my favorite stuff to eat. And then for dessert, I'd probably make like a chocolate lava cake because I really like baking. So I was going to say pasta, but I feel like that's too basic. So I'm going to go with grilled salmon. I would probably cook like greens or asparagus and mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. So I'm definitely more of a baker considering I really like to bake all the time. But if I had to choose a dinner date meal, I would probably do something like tacos or pizza, sushi, pasta, something that we could do like together because I think it would be really fun if you could make dinner together. What would you make for dessert? I really like making layer cakes, like where you'd have red velvet, then chocolate, then vanilla, just kind of mix it up because then you have a little bit of everything. Um, oh, dang, I, I don't know why I'm being put in this position. I don't like this. We just got, you gotta do it. Um, we're gonna have to eliminate Ananya because it just seemed like there wasn't a lot of effort behind you cooking a dinner date. It just seemed like dumplings wasn't like all that. Nice meeting you, though. Bye, nice meeting you, too. Hi. I thought I would last longer and the bay was kind of my type, so kind of bummed, but it's all right. I've seen Kellyanne and Chase on my TikTok, so that was really cool seeing them on Zoom. Um, okay, what type of music are you into? So I'm Brazilian, so I really like Brazilian music, but I can pretty much listen to anything. I really like, um, how do you say that, rap or pop. Uh, I'm really into like calming or like kind of sad songs. My friends kind of tell me I like depressing music, but um, something like really chill um, or like alt. I pretty much listen to anything, so yeah. So I like all types of music. I like rap, I like hip hop, pop, but I guess my top three are like indie, alternative, indie rock, indie pop. I am like a huge fan of rap, R&B, and reggaeton. Like music is um, kind of my big thing. I always listen to it really loud and um, I'm like the biggest weekend stan ever. <laughs> like I'm always decked out in XO and um, just love his stuff. Probably indie music for me. If it plays on the radio, I probably don't listen to it. I kind of like more Tyler, the Creator, or Declan McKenna, 1975, kind of stuff like that. I really listen to whatever comes on the radio. Whatever has a good beat, I can just vibe with. But if I were to like narrow it down to genres, um, like soft rap, um, indie alternative, some rock music too. Honestly, I listen to any kind of music, but especially reggaeton and just pop music. Like, I'm a really huge Bad Bunny fan, but I'll really listen to anything as long as it has a good beat. Pop is probably my favorite type, but I have, because I'm in Miami, I have started listening to, like, Hispanic music, and Bad Bunny is, like, one of my favorite artists, along with Drake, because you can never go wrong with Drake. So, um, I actually grew up in the music industry because my dad works in there. I used to live in L.A., but, um, so I pretty much like all music, but if I had to pick a top, at risk of sounding basic, I would say Taylor Swift. She's my favorite number one artist every single album she's ever produced. I don't think I've ever not liked one and I could probably name all the lyrics. So definitely would be her, but I also have a soft spot for country music, so. I can dig into the country wave. I'm a very like R&B soul kind of guy. I don't hate alternative like rock kind of music, but I am not a fan. All right, we have our, our answer. And we are going to eliminate Faith only because Zach's favorite, I mean, Zach's not a big fan of rock music and he just would rather not listen to it, you know? So that's the only reason. Thanks guys, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye-bye. Kind of upset because I feel like when people think of rock music, they think of the raw type of rock music, but that's not what I meant. I meant like, like soft rock, like the Beatles and stuff like that. I don't think it's fair because I feel like you should be open to every single music taste. 
even if you don't like it. I feel like that's something you can explore with each other, but. If you're gonna take him on a trip, where would you take him? Maybe I would take him to Brazil, because um, I feel like it would be really cool since I'm from there, so I could show him around. Um, or Europe, because I've never been and I've always wanted to go, so yeah. So we would definitely be going to the Bahamas. My dad is actually from there, so I've been there a few times. It's pretty beautiful. You get the beach. You pretty much get everything that you want on the island. Uh, we would definitely be going to Zanzibar. Um, I think it's just like the coolest place and um, it looks beautiful. It looks like a really nice like romantic date spot, but it also looks like you can kind of have some fun adventures and explore as well. Where is that? Where is that? Yeah. It's in Africa. Um, it's part of Tanzania. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, I, I believe it's an island. Well, if we were going on a weekender, I would take him to Santa Barbara because it's very quaint and they have really nice beaches and really good food. Um, but if we were going on a longer trip, I'd probably go to Amsterdam with him because they have amazing nightlife and great food and it's just one of the prettiest places in the world. If we were to go on a trip, I'd definitely take him to Puerto Rico just because that's like my second home. So I know like every good spot on the island, anywhere to find like the best food. And the beaches are some of the most beautiful beaches that I've ever been to. So definitely there. So if we were going on a trip, I would probably take him to Bora Bora because for one, I've never been. So, and I see all these like amazing pictures with like feeding wild pigs. And I feel like it's a great experience to like experience with somebody that you've never experienced in general, so. If I were going on a trip, I've always actually wanted to do this. I've wanted to go to Paris and Italy and just, just because they have the best cuisine pretty much like in the world, in Europe at least. And they have such great sites and like historical landmarks. I just think it would be, it just has so many opportunities and things to do, like whether it's eating or going on tours, stuff like that. I like to get out of the US personally. Like, nah, if she's trying to take me to Paris, ooh, <laughs> let me tell you something about that. Okay, so this round we're going to eliminate Riley. Just, oh, he's adventurous and I don't know. I don't know why, I just feel bad. <laughs> Bye, thanks guys. Bye Riley. Bye Riley. <laughs> Like, yes, I wanted to do something like relaxing, but I also do a lot of like adventuring and traveling. So I was like, well, I should have said that. So <laughs> that may be a little sad, but it's fine. I didn't say Lithuania because it's really cold there and I don't really like cold weather, unfortunately. Uh, what's your go-to karaoke song? Um, I would probably do um, Gotta Go My Own Way by High School Middle School. So mine would probably be out of the Zoe 101 theme song or the Drake and Josh theme song. Nickelodeon was one of my favorite channels growing up and I still remember both theme songs to this day. So it would probably be something from there. <laughs> Definitely super bass. I cannot sing at all whatsoever. So I'm just have to get on the mic and just spit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it would probably be anything by Adele, just because I really like singing ballads. That's like my go-to music. Um, so probably make you feel my love. I'm gonna have to say any Beyonce song. Like, that's a queen right there. So I really wouldn't have, I, I don't think I could choose anybody else besides a Beyonce song. <laughs> I actually really like karaoke -ing. I have a machine actually. And I used to do it with my friends all the time. And of course, I'm gonna have to go with the Taylor Swift song. I would probably do You Belong With Me. I think that that bridge is one of her best ever. Um, we're gonna have to go with the Drake and Josh. Like, it's just not. <laughs> I don't know, he, it just sounds a little young. <laughs> bye! <laughs> Alright, bye, sorry. Like, he called my answer child, but he's the one who mentioned High School Musical, so... I was, I was very confused, let's say that. Uh, where would you take him on a first date? I would probably take him to the beach. Um, my dream first date would be like a picnic on, a, on the sunset in the beach. So I feel like that would be really cool. Like we could bring snacks and uh, yeah. First date, we're going skydiving. Unless he's afraid of heights. Um, if that's the case, then we're still gonna do something super fun and adventurous. Um, maybe a really cool hike um, that's kind of like long and tedious, but it's gonna be super fun <laughs> because we love doing adventurous stuff. <laughs> I'd have to say a picnic with street tacos um, up in this town called Old Town Holotis. It's like a little bit of a hike to get there and there's a really pretty lookout spot. So probably there around sunset because it overlooks the whole city. So you 
can see the lights like through the city at night. I would take him to my favorite restaurant, which is called Dolores, but call me Lolita. And it's in Miami. It's like in the middle of all the like tall buildings and it's on the rooftop. So you can like see out. It's, it's really nice. It has like lights outside. So I would probably say like a sit down restaurant. I really think that the first day is probably the most important date. Well, obviously, but I would probably take him on a scavenger hunt. So like first we would probably go see the sunset on the beach. Then we, I could take him to a drive-in movie and then we'd end off like eating some good food because food is very important. So I just, I'd like to spend a lot of time with the person on the first date because if you don't really know them, how do you know if you want a second date? Don't take me on bowling because I feel like <laughs> I see that all the time. I'm not trying to bowl because personally I'm not good at it. All right, we have our answer. And this round we're going to eliminate Sydney. The answer was a little too basic, just like a little restaurant. Everyone answers was like super extravagant and that's kind of what we were looking for. Bye guys. <laughs> As I stated before, like I talked about like really liking the beach, but at the same time, one of the other contestants said, oh, she'll take him to the beach. So I didn't want to be like, say the same thing, but yeah, no, it, it's okay because you know, there's somebody out there for me somewhere. I didn't think that that would be like the ending for me, you know, like, uh, no. Okay, so what is your ideal day off with Bay? My ideal day off would probably be just chilling, watching some TV shows that we both both like. Um, maybe we can cook something and uh, yeah, something really chill. My ideal day off will always be something adventurous, something fun. So I think um, it would be probably like surfing in the summer or snowboarding in the winter. Um, just something exciting to occupy the day. My ideal day off would also be something very chill, you know, just at home to give us the chance to like cook or bake together. Um, maybe like spend some time with either his family or my family because I'm a really big family person too. I think a day off would be important to spend time together. So maybe we could do something like go and have a picnic or just go see some movies or something like that. And then we could head home and have dinner at home, cook for each other maybe and then just have a good, like, some spending some time together. My ideal day with Bay is definitely a lazy day at home. A, l a movie or two, maybe some snacks. I really like this, this is a snack, it's called a chicken biscuit. You ever had one of those? Those are so good. They're so good. Um, we're gonna have to go with Julia because his, like... We like to chill out. He like, likes, he to, likes chill to chill out. out. We work a lot. Yeah, yeah, we are very, like, working all the time. Um, so he would just wanna just like, hang out and relax at home. Get to know his day. Yeah. It was nice meeting you all. Uh, You're nice all beautiful. <laughs> I think that it's probably a good thing I got eliminated because I wouldn't really have been a good fit um, because I definitely am very adventurous. Like I could get to the end of the earth and then I would want to explore the sky. So <laughs> like Rihanna said, men be falling like the rain, so we ain't running out. So I'm not worried about it. <laughs> What are you most passionate about? I would say either art or fashion. Um, these are the mo like the two things that I most relate to and that I like doing the most. I'm definitely most passionate about my family and music. Um, those are the two most important things in my life. So. I would say I'm most passionate about justice. I actually want to be a criminal lawyer and I think that there's a lot of messed up stuff happening in the world right now and I'd like to do the best I can to change that. Like I want someone that has goals in their life, they have a future that they see and they're very passionate on working every single day to reach those goals and to get the life that they hope to have one day. I find that very attractive. So this round we're going to be eliminating Lily. Um, I guess they just have different interests in like life and which is like not a bad thing, but. Bye guys, thank you. Peace out Girl Scout. I'm pretty passionate about what's happening in the world and I think it's kind of a privilege to not be passionate about that and I I probably wouldn't want to be with someone either who's not passionate about that so no harm against him if he ever needs someone to teach him Taylor Swift lyrics I'm here ladies why should we pick you to be our best friends bae you guys should pick me because I'm a very passionate person um, I feel like People have fun with me. You know, my friends say that I'm really outgoing and sweet and I really give my all to everything that I, you know, try or that I do. So, um, yeah, I think <laughs> your friend would like me. <laughs> Sorry. I think that you should pick me to be your friend's bae because I give 100% 
to every single thing that I do, whether it be school, family, especially relationships. And not only that, I feel like I'm really outgoing and I'm a supportive person. Like I'll support you like 100%, like no matter what it is, like if it's something you love, like go for it. I'm that kind of person. So I think that's why. All right, we have decided and we picked Zach's Bay and that is going to be Giovanna. Yay. Bye, Kayla. Yay, thank you so much. I'm excited. <laughs> Honestly, I was really surprised that I made it that far. So it was really cool being runner up. Um, and Giovanna, I think that was her name. She's really pretty. So honestly, so happy for her. <laughs> What's up, <How's> Shadi? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm phenomenal. How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit nervous now. If everyone's looking at me. <laughs> now that I can see you, I'm beyond nervous. Yeah, I thought all of your answers were actually amazing. And what amazed me too is that you were the first, you were correct, you were the first person to answer every time. That's a lot of pressure. And you also didn't have to hear anyone else. It is. Yeah. I was like, I didn't have time to think about it. And then every time I was like, oh, I could have said this instead of that. I you hit every question that he has been looking for too. So it was like, like really your like answers? spot on yeah. to what he had Pretty. said. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> no, yeah, you look really fun. So yeah, I would love to get to know you more. <laughs> so um, Zach, Zach, this is Giovanna. Giovanna, Giovanna Zach. Zach. <laughs> uh, well, the, ans the answer, one of your answers that stuck out to me the most was, uh, where would you take him? Or where, where would you do oh, on a first, first date? date? And was like going to picnic at the beach and like watch the sunset. Uh, it's like it's he literally, he literally said, said that. that. Exactly. Said word by word. I was like, you literally said word for word. And it was like you were in the room saying exactly what he had just said. And then wanting to travel over to like Europe and stuff, his favorite place that he likes to go to is Paris. My besties picked my bay. Everyone answered like things like super deep and pretty, and I just said like art and fashion, and I felt a bit shallow, which I'm not. With what you said about being passionate, you said with like fashion and art, those were actually things that I listed that I would look, like look to see in like my bay. Like I love fashion. I think we said like arts and crafts, like just arts, like stuff like that. So honestly, I liked the answer. I thought it was, I thought it was good. I, I honestly do not expect to be picked whatsoever. She's, she's cute. She's beautiful. Um, I like her smile. And she just seems like a very, ha she gives out, she radiates a very happy, positive energy. And I like that. He looks like a really sweet and like cute person. I like that. I think our first date is coming up, honestly. So we got to get ready for that. <laughs> my besties definitely picked the correct bait for me. <laughs> you didn't let me down. I gave Thanks. you my trust and Thanks. you guys killed it. So, oh, thank Slap you. Thanks. Slap hands. Like literally from the very beginning when she said that she knows three different languages, I was like, Oh yeah, I was like, that's, that's really kind of cool kind of and kind of different. Yeah. It was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. But for me, it was when she said her ideal date that she would take him on would be to the beach and picnic and watching the sunset. And that was literally a textbook of what Zach was saying earlier. Genuinely, Brazil is a one place that I really, really want to go to. Like, yeah, I'm and very... then she said she's in, she would either take you to Europe too. Whoa, so things Both. are kind of perfect you know? here so yeah, far. I don't know, It's man. a little weird. Like every time y'all said something, I instantly in my head agreed. I was like, that was definitely the right choice. I felt like y'all really, really knew me, and I, I loved that. I you think know. you guys did phenomenal. Told you. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Hey, <laughs> we got you, bro. Yeah. Like, hey. yeah, thank you. I appreciate we'll you, bro. Yeah. Hello. Um, this was definitely super fun, and I always love trying to set up my friends with people, so I think I'm gonna try it even more now. Y'all are really like, cute. I think we're, we're good at this. All right, y'all, so if you know, you like what you see, uh, all of my socials are just my name, so at Zach Clayton on literally every platform, I have everything, so yeah, be sure to check me out, and I also have music coming out soon, so be ready for that, it's exciting. Well, I don't have music coming out soon, <laughs> but you can also follow me on Chase Matson on all platforms. <laughs> I also do have music coming out <laughs> soon. You can find me on Instagram at Kellyanne Stankis and all my socials are at Kellyanne Stankis. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to 17's YouTube channel. Bye guys. Peace.